Oh, hello. It's Thomas Lennon from the uh, Smash uh, coming film, uh, Reno 911. It's a wonderful heist. What do I want to do, Siri? What is it about cops that you thought made the perfect parody material a concept that stayed relevant for two decades? Uh, there's a very simple thing about uh, the cops format as a sketch show that was always makes things incredibly easy, which is you're always in conflict. It's like the greatest sketch game that's endlessly, you never enter a situation that's not already a conflict. It's fantastic. So it's always about conflict, status, or like uh, unrequited love. Was I nervous about bringing the show back on Quibi in 2020 Deuce and what was it like when the platform shut down while season two was in production? When the, the minute that Quibi shut down is we were filming a scene called Dangle's Retirement Plan and I was training to be an amazing ballroom dancer with Juan Ru Sang, who plays a character called Cindy the Sex Slave, who's now the intern at the station. And so the, they were basically just, it was like whiplash where they were being horrible to me. So I was pretending, I had my pants completely down, and I was pretending to poop in a bucket uh, in the scene, in this giant like empty sound stage. And I'm pantsless on a bucket over here and I see everybody kind of huddles up by the monitors and they're like talking in hushed tones. And I'm just kind of looking and I'm like, should I be worried about something? And then we, when we finally cut, everybody's like, hey, Quibi uh, doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh that was weird. Because all the thing, the, the uh, pooping on the bucket was definitely, this was for Quibi, so.